It's your girl Corey coming to you about this hair. Um, this hair is pink couture hair. I made this into a wig, um, as you can see here. Got a full lace front um, and three bundles. The lace front is 12 inches. Uh, the bundles is 14, 16, and 18. I cut them because it was a little bit long for me, um, but I'll get into that next. If you want to know about this hair and the specs on it and how I made this wig, uh, stay tuned. Okay, so I purchased this hair maybe the week after January 8th, because January 8th was um, like a Friday. And I remember that day because I purchased hair from Crown Luxury Hair. Long story about how terrible that shipping process went. So ended up having to cancel that and having to uh, reorder some hair from Picatore Hair. I I think I should say it take about a week and a few days for me to get this hair. Um, it took a little bit, but I called her. She was so nice, and she told me exactly the reason why it was running a little bit late. You know, that, and I was perfectly fine with that. She was completely nice, and she was like, you know, as soon as I called her, it was like on a Wednesday. And I called her. I was like, hey, you know, I purchased my hair on this day. Is it going to be here anytime soon? Should I receive any shipping anytime soon? She said, yeah, we're just, you know, running a little bit behind. Next day, my package was here. So I love that. Um, so the way this hair came, I don't have it with me. I mean, it wasn't really fancy. I kind of questioned it a little bit because when I saw other people's hair, when I got it from Picatore, the packaging looked a lot different from how I received mine. Mine just came and it came in a regular USPS like package. It was a little beat up, but you know, it's mail care. The inside of it, it just had bags of hair, like bundles and plastic. And it didn't say what kind of hair I got. Like even though I know I got Malaysian straight, uh, on the packages I'm used to it saying the inches and the type of hair. And on my bundles, it just said how long the hair was. So um, that was a little weird. And it didn't have like the logo. Like I'm used to it coming with the tag of saying, you know, or Diamond Dynasty or Pink Couture or Sassy Mitchell hair, whatever. Uh, but it didn't come like that. And maybe because she was running a little bit behind of shipping it out. So maybe that could have been why she didn't get to like label it all fancy smancy. But I mean, no worries. I just questioned it a little bit. But at the same time, you know. It is what it is, and I got the hair, so that's that's most important. That, it does not shed. It hasn't tangled. I just made this wig a couple days ago. This wig is going to be on my website at coreycarterhair.bigcartel.com. I'm just trying it on for you guys so you can see how it looks on a human being. Um, I will put some pictures in the video, or you can refer to my website. And uh, basically, yeah, this is what it looks like. It's really flowy. I made it into a lob. I cut colored and styled it just to have a loose beachy wave i love beachy waves on lobs like i don't know what it is but it's so cute and so yeah at first it came to like here but like the one thing i didn't like about this hair was it was full around the wefts of the bundles like it was full and as i got down it got really thin and i didn't like that because I like my hair to be full from the root to the ends of the hair and I didn't I didn't feel like it was like that with this hair. I felt like when I made this wig it was like super like full up here and then it got really thin and I just thought that was not cute. So I was like, you know what? Instead of me keeping the original length of this hair, I'm going to chop it. And I did. I chopped it uh, from here to like here. So I may have cut off about four inches um, and I put some layers in here um to really customize the unit and um i did a little customization on the lace frontal excuse me i did a little customization on that we'll put some baby hairs here so it won't look all unified and yeah i put this together i sewed it up and i put it on a dome cap so i have an elastic band to create the glueless method i think i'm going to install some clips at the back of this unit so that it lays down it and it kind of like tucks so whoever purchases this hair they can put it in a high bun without having to worry about the bottom part lifting 
Also, I thought that this hair colored very well. I bleached it. I uh, let it process for about 20 to 25 minutes. And I put like a golden violety toner on it. So, yeah. I'll just show you guys the back. Very full. So yeah, that's really about it with this unit. Again, you can purchase this hair on CoreyCarterHair.BitCartel.com. I have the link on my actual profile. So yeah, that's really about it with this hair. I haven't had it long enough to really experience anything uh, terrible uh, because I just got it. So it's not shedding, it's not tangling. Uh, if it's really loose and it's really bouncy, so I like that. I think it's even loose and bouncier now that I cut all those like weaker ends off. Uh, so it's really full. So if anyone's looking for a blonde highlighted lob, uh, this is the wig for you, girl. And, you know, it's almost summertime, fine time. I think this would really do any girl justice. Like, seriously. Oh, also, I didn't bleach the knots. I put some powdered foundation on the uh, frontal part. So if whoever purchased this unit can bleach it if they feel like it or use a uh, foundation I personally didn't use it one because more time-consuming for one and two I don't know I just didn't feel like it was necessary for this uh, frontal so I didn't do it yes that is all again my name is Corey uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and rate my video so yeah thank you so much bye guys it was nice seeing y'all